This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Chris Ely so much and we welcome you here to the Ritz Arena at the University of La Loya campus here and the Greyhounds home traditionally but tonight is home once again to the Baltimore Catholic League tournament in tonight's semifinal matchup between the St. Francis Panthers a record of 34 and 5 up against Roy Blakefield 20 and 12 both beatings this year went to the Panthers early in the season but you know how it is in March. It's a different type of atmosphere. And these two teams meeting up. St. Francis trying to get that nice. Baltimore Catholic League Championship. Loya trying to get their six. And the Greyhounds have not been at this stage for a long time. I see Loya Blakefield dons. As the tip-off begins, St. Francis gets it first. Rice here Jones with it here. And the Loya College, the ace. Put it down. Swings it back over Jones. Top of the key for three. He hits. Three nothing. St. Francis. It'll start off. We did lawyer early in the season against Gerstel and against Bishop I. Green down at the Charm City Challenge and Coach of the Year Josh Duvall here. Has done wonders inside. Blocked away as Fisher was rejected. Right here, Jones, second Defense of the Year award for him. The ace inside. The teardrop did not go. Murphy up and over, and that one didn't go. Another chance for Murphy. That one tipped and missed as well. Ball still on the deck in the middle, and a foul against the Panthers. The ball back to Loya. The Don's not that far away here from. Lower Greyhound campus. About 15 minutes away. And this additional home for the BCL. Right now, Fisher had it back over to Hepting. Going inside, dishes. That one tipped and missed. A foul is called inside. Fisher's coming to the line to shoot two. Jamal West, his first, second on the team, by the line, Mitch Fisher. First shot goes in. First points on the board for the Dons. Second shot goes two. So a 3-2 game. As West gives it up to the ace. The quarterfinal matchups was 
a margin point total of over 32. It was no contest for a lot of them. St. Francis had Mount Kimmel. Okay, we've done twice here this year on the Dinosaur Network. That one tipped and missed out of bounds. And St. Francis is going to keep it. Lawyer had Calvert Hall, 20 point win over their arch rival. That's what I love about here in the Ritz Arena. The new boards here. And, and yes, we got scoring. So you want stats during the game, you're going to get it here tonight and Sunday. West couldn't elevate. Murphy does. He pushed the two in. Jason Murphy. And a 5 2 affair. That one tapped out of bounds. Going to stick and stay with the Dons on their end. So the Panthers so far is one block. Fox is going to inbound it in. One of this game gets our second matchup. St. Maria Garetti and Mount St. Joe's. That's a three in the corner. That one was there. As Hefting wasn't able to get it. The ace brings it. Slips it over. Rasha Jones for three again. That one tipped and missed. Rebound in the hands of Cam Smith. 5-2 affair. Jumper. That one air. West with it now. Over to the ace. Baldwin, keeping his dribble, triple team still kept it, foul inside against the Dons. As always, the ace with the ball control. Fox is first, first on the team. First team foul against Loya. West inside lays it in, 7-2 affair. Jamal West. 7-2 game. Ball shifting back, Fisher. You're on this Friday night, We're coming at you on Saturday night. Network inside, Smith. That's a three in the corner. And Nickham wasn't able to finish that. And the ball tipped out of bounds. St. Francis will get it back. Coach Clancy. Mount St. Joe's had the most finals appearances here in the, here in the uh, tournament. And Francis last year took the lead, beating Mount St. Joe's. Brown in the corner for three. That one tipped and missed there. Rebound back over to Lawyer. Still trying to get a field goal. And Jordan Toes coming in. Jones playing six man the last couple games. And that's a foul. Fisher be taking them. That's Murphy's second. Foul. Out of the inbounds. Kicked out. 4.43 left here in the first. Inside, kicks it back over. Hepting brings it all the way back out. Moore over to Fisher. Swings it. And batted away, turns it over. Brown leading the charge. Jordan Toes with the finish. Jordan Toes. A 9 2 game. And Francis quickness. Right now, overwhelming the Dons. See if they can adjust there. Kicks it. Swings it. Three ball. That one back on for Smith. Rashad Jones with it. He brings it up. Swings it back to the ace. Oh, baby. The ace pulls back, though. Inside to West. West double. Jordan Toes fakes. Pulls up and hits. And a timeout by the Dons. Lawyer right now down 11 to 2. 
see that right there. Baltimore, 346 here left in the first so far. Jordan Tolles quickly in the game. He has the four points, leading all scores. Last year, Jones with that three. Has three, two rebounds as well. Three rebounds to Jason Murphy, but he has two fouls. Sitting on the bench in full of Oya. Mitch Fisher has the only points with two so far for the Dons. Swings it all the way over. Moore. Grasso. Pulls up. Fisher no good. Offensive rebound. And it goes in the first field goal for the Dons. Rashad Jones back on offense. He's double. Jordan Toes back to the ace. Swings it inside to West. And a travel. The ball back to La Jolla. Three oh three left in this first quarter. And the forty eighth. Baltimore Catholic League tournament semifinal between Loya and St. Francis. Drive, pull up. That one front end miss. Nice rebound there by Rasha Jones. Back to the ace for three. Hits it on that. Adrian Baldwin. Strikes again, part of that first team for the Baltimore Catholic League. And it's a 10 point lead right now for the Panthers. Hepting, Fisher, Lasso, got a drive, double, that's a three for Smith, hits it, gets the lead back down to seven as the ace brings it up, Rasha Jones, he turned, oh, it got it turned over, a jump ball, do we have a timeout? We do. Loya gets saved there. As Moore with the hustle to get the steal. And 22% field goal percentage so far for Loya. Not getting it done. They have gotten to the line twice. And gotten them two free throws there. And that's the good news for Loya. But scoring has been tight so far for them. And trying to get the ball in the basket has been difficult. Four offensive rebounds there for St. Francis so far in the contest. They had a lot on that first recession and the rebounding edge is in St. Francis' favor. 10 to 3. So, I got the timeout. Game action here. And the Dice Funny Network. This one it ends St. Maria Goretti in Mount St. Joe. To follow. Those two teams had a magnificent semifinal game last year. Groucho. We was there for that one. We'll be back here for this semifinal. A little different cast of characters this time for Mount St. Joe's. A lot of the same cast of characters still there for Peretti. Peretti dominated Mount St. Joe's in their two meetings this year. Fisher inside. Could not finish it. West to Baldwin, the ace. Fakes the three. Front end missed that time. Nice rebound there by Fisher. Kept his dribble. And he gives it up there to Reynolds. One twenty-four left here in the first. Swings it back. More. Inside cut past him. The Smith, he got it in. Cam Smith with five so far in the game. And he's gotten Loya off the deck a little bit here. Toes. Face it to the ace. Swings over to Rajay Jones. Jones pulls up for two. That one's spin to miss. West with the rebound. Putting it up. It did not go in. It rattled out. Rebound over to LaHoya. And the Blakefield Dons bring it up. Reynolds swings it over. Cam Smith back over to Reynolds at the top of the key. Seconds left here in the first quarter. 
And a foul. We'll reach in. Sam Francis foul number one. Adrian Baldwin his first. 14 foul. 14 foul on the Panthers. So far only one team foul on Lawyer. Pick City by the ace. Up to toes. Lays it in. A transition game. Hello, two-star athletes. Reynolds. Glasgow. Nine, eight, on a free chin. A second foul on Adrian Baldwin. Foul on Adrian Baldwin, his second. He knew he was coming right out. So and for the Panthers, six foot sophomore guard number 12, Kyrie Staten. Staten in the game. Seconds left is more. Six, five, four. Hepting in the corner. A trap at the buzzer it will not go for more. At the end of one. So after one, 16 to nine game here for St. Francis over Loyola Blakefield. And here on the Dying Swimming Network, we thank you so much for joining us here today. And if you join us throughout the season, Check us out on the Twitter and Instagram at Die Sporting Net. And of course, our official Facebook page, Die Sporting Network. And finally, right here on YouTube, subscribe today, Die Sporting Network. Having you some of the best games here in the area. We're having a BCL final Sunday. The MPSSA playoff action here in Maryland will be getting going. We will have, we're going to try at least have three games for you. We will definitely have a game Monday that will be up on Tuesday on the Dines Running Network. And then we will have down at College Park, our finale, the four class finals that will be highlighted for them due to restrictions of full game coverage. We will bring you highlighted coverage of the championships there the following week right here on the Dines Running Network. Stick and stay for that. Be in a condensed game format as well. Second quarter about to get going here at Rich Field here at Forbes Court. And Campus Aloya College Patriot League team is in the Mac. Many years. Won the Patriot League a couple years ago. Inside, Loyal trying to get it done here. Oh, a dive there by Staten, and ball's going to stay with the Dons. As this shooting section is on my right here. You get to see the Off St. Joe's one later. That's a three from Fisher. He hits. And a four point game. That's a tough shot by Jones. That one did not go. Offensive rebound there. They would have told. Told pulls up. Front end miss. Ball back. To Lawyer. Brings it all the way over. Hepting. Fisher. Grasco. More for three. Tipped and missed. Batted back. Off as a rebound to Fisher. All the way to the basket. It spins out. And back the other way come Jordan Tolles and St. Francis. And Tolles is fouled. Second team foul against the Dons. Oh, 
back to St. Francis, Chad Brown, and then bound it out. Inside to West, they put a lot of bodies on him, made it tough inside, and that has continued there. Back the other way. More to Smith. Rasko at the top. Smith. Swings it back over. Grasco shoots for three. That one hits the back arm. Rasha Jones with the rebound. Jordan Toes. That garage in. Swings it back again. Stanton back. Goes Rasha back to Toes back to Stanton inside the West. Again, they put the bodies on West. Swings it. Toes, he travels. Toes walk. And the rhythm of St. Francis' offense right now is not there. And a good timeout by A.D. Nicholas Miles, the coach of uh, St. Francis. By the way, this is the battle of the last two BCL coaches. As A.D. Nicholas Miles won the BCL Coach of the Year Award a year ago, and this year, Coach Josh Duvall won the Coach of the Year for Loya this year. And the interesting one, indeed so. So the scoring so far, the people that's in the game, the leading scorer for Loya is Mitch Fisher. He has seven points and three rebounds. And right now, leading scorer for St. Francis is Jordan Toes. He has six of the 16 points you see on the board. Also has a rebound as well. St. Francis has yet been to the free throw. Back in the game, he's going to inbound the ball. Almost a triple team. Press defense. To the top seeded Panthers. Try to get the back door to Fox. Turns it over as they were trying to get it to Fisher. Jordan Toes with it all the way to the basket. And Eric drops in. 18 to 12 game. That's a three from Fox. Hits it! We got a three-point game. Jordan Toll brings it up. What a shot that was. One thing about Loya, they got the deep shooters. Tolls. Bat it. Turned over. More with it. Cuts inside off the glass and in the hat thing. Time out again by St. Francis. It's now a one point game in this semifinal matchup. Oh boy. Still early in this one as we're halfway into the first half. Right now, Loya has controlled the pace of the offense. And I believe the reason is because the ace had to sit out for a little bit, but he's back in now.
15 rebounds so far for St. Francis, but four turnovers to three for the Oil. <coughs> and make that into a concern as well as we're about to get back to game action. Baldwin, the ace, Rice Jones. Baldwin fakes, floater, tipped and missed. Rebound back over to Loy. They can take the lead for the first time with any kind of field goal. Hapting. Inside, swings it for the lead. Spin out. Spin out on more. Ball went to Jones. Jones a senior. Back to the ace. Ball went inside and he's fouled. He's coming up to shoot two. First free throws in the contest here for St. Francis. First shot to Baldwin. In and out. Returning for the Panthers, number 20, Jamal West, number 13, Jason Murphy. Here's returns. Second shot back in miss as well. So two the free throws there by the ace. Very unusual by him. And Loya still down one. 18 to 17. Fakes it back over to Hefting. Swings it over to Moore. Cuts! Oh, Smith rejected himself. Couldn't get it in. That's a three. That one tipped and missed there by Fox. And West. Brings it up for St. Francis, the ace. Toes, toes, inside of it, first of goes. 20 to 17, new bucket there. Jordan Toes with eight points. Player profile early in the season for St. Francis. Of course, he is that double sport athlete. Gotta believe it. Swings inside, close it. Three ball for the tie. That one tipped and missed. High rebound there. Over to Toes. Ace. Toes. Pick City by Moore. Two on three fast break. Not in, in Lloyd. Favorite back. No good. Hefting pulls back. Pull up jumper. Got it. Top of the key for Brandon Fox. He hit it. And it's a one point game again. Back and forth. We live it like that. 150 left here in the first half. We put our second matchup to be this way. We love it when both can. Back over, nice pass, and one for Jamal West. Jamal West. Brandon Fox, his second. West at the line, shooting the and one, trying to get St. Francis a four point lead. Got it. 23-19 substitution. 99 seconds left. Six foot two inch junior guard number ten, Reese Stucker. Hepting swings it over to Fisher. Fisher bringing it up. Hepting. Shot clock at 18. Back over to Smith. Dish inside to Fisher. He's shooting a pass. The senior. That's excuse me, the junior. Mitch Fisher. Shooting the second. Lawyer will take the fact they've only shot 29% from the field and only down. By three with a free throw pending. A lot of substitutions. Hey, 
trying to get minutes, of course. St. Francis will be going out to the Hammer Tournament next weekend. They yeah, will see Damatha to start off. What a tough matchup that's going to be in the game. Boy, oh, yeah. this season will end here for the BC out. That's a three. Tipped and missed. Offensive rebound to Murphy. He couldn't get it. Second chance does go in. <laughs> Murphy right now with six rebounds. 25-20. Swains to Fisher. Back inside to Smith. That was not. Nice. That was Newcomb. That's Smith there. Now Newcomb gets it. Up against Murphy. Swings it back. Fisher pulls up. Back on a miss. And here comes St. Francis. Shot clock is off. Right here, Jones. Foul on the floor. It's only the 15th foul against Loyola. Both teams have five. I think we won't have enough time to see if uh, both teams can get two more equals seven. That will not, probably will not happen. Toes. Toes and Bonnie. All the way over to the ace. Rasha Jones right at the 22nd mark. Swings it back over to the ace. Jones. Seven, six, five. Swings it back. Toes. Rasha Jones got to put it up. Does. And hits it at the buzzer. The shot will count. It's going to be a long distance too. At halftime, 27-20 game. It's a seven-point lead for St. Francis, the top-seeded team here in the 48th edition of the Baltimore Catholic League Tournament Semifinals. And you're watching it right here on the Dice Wing Network. Chicken stay for the second half. Walking back here to the Ritz Arena on the Forbes Court and the second half of the first 48th BCL Tournament semifinal game between St. Francis and the lawyer Blakefield Dons. Panthers top seeded up by seven, 27 to 20. And see Jones back over to Murphy. Murphy putting the move on. That did not go. Back over to the lawyer Hepting. Over to Fox. Fox swings it over to Fisher. Fisher over to Moore. That's a three from Hefting. Hits it! <coughs> Lead back down to four. Inside. That's your Jones. Back over to the ace. The ace pulls up from the A of the Loyola sign. Foul against Loyola. Shot will not count, but I was on the floor. First team foul on the dawn. Toes. Back over to the ace. Inside to Murphy. Actually, that's West, excuse me. Could not get it. West snatches it back. And another chance. Didn't get it in, but shooting two. Coming up. Second team foul away against the Dons. We haven't even got out of a minute At the line in tomorrow. the third quarter. Yeah. First shot, no good. Two foul misses. Second shot does go. Five point game, 28-23. Over to St. Francis. Hefting. Over to Fox. Newcomb. Swinging it back and forth. Alright, swings it back. Back over inside. Kicks it back over. The drive. 
Fakes it, shot clock at six. Inside is Hefting. Hefting tipped and missed. Second chance did not go. And a foul against Loyola. Third team foul already against the Dons here. 6.30. They're left in the third quarter. The rebounding is leading the St. Francis 25 to 14. And now Jason Murphy leading all rebounders with nine. Over swings it. That's a three for Roger Jones. Tip to miss. Murphy with the offensive rebound. He got 10 rebounds now. And that roll did not go. Hefty. Here come. Smith from the top of the key for three. That one gets the side of the backboard. No good. Right here, Jones. Swing back to the ace. Toe. With an amazing 3.9 against Boys Land. Side to West. Off the glass and in. Seven point lead again for the Panthers. 5.25 here left in the third. I think Fox Fisher. Moore. Back over to Fox. He pulls up. Fun and miss. Jordan Toes grabs the board. Swings it to the ace. Ace back to Toes. Baldwin. Murphy slams it down. And a timeout by the Dons as the lead has ballooned back to nine for St. Francis here. 458 here left in the third and 32-23 game. And right now St. Francis offensively in gear. Looking good. Jordan Toles, your leading scorer at 10 points. And Jason Murphy, your leading rebounder at 11 here so far. And the rebounding edge has been huge in St. Francis' favor. Loyola's 8 for 30 from the field. And St. Francis 14 for 35. 27% field goal percentage for the Dons. And we gotta get a little bit more cooking around the basket, no question about it. But we know St. Francis is not gonna make it easy on them. 11 offensive rebounds for the Panthers. Really an active on the boards. And the way they've been able to control this game here. We'll take it back to game action here. Boyer will inbound. With 458 left in the third quarter. Here on the Dice Money Network. We thank you once again so much for joining us. Been on DSN throughout the season. Normally, I do the BCL, our regular season's usually over, but it will not be on this as change as and this brings it back over. Back over to Moore. He has a lane to drive, and he got two points to go in. The ace with it. Over to Jones. Brings it back to Baldwin again. Brings it back. Ace. Out of bounds, turnover. And it costs the momentum one there for St. Francis. And to hurt the Panthers in the long run. Hepting with it back. Turns it back over to Fisher, back to Hepting. Inside the grass go. More. Oh! Smith with a bounce pass. No look pass at that, but not able to get it. Get it. 
That's a three. Tipped and miss. That one. Back over. Oop. That's a three. Smith couldn't finish that one. Bowen. Back to Jones. Lays it in. Nine point lead. Turns it back over again to Fisher. Smith. Half to back to Moore. And the grass go. Back to Smith. Inside to Fisher. Fisher. Almost three guys in a lane on him. He's coming up to shoot two. And now Jason Murphy is third. And One and two at the free throw line there for Fisher. Eight point lead for St. Francis. Way long distance pass back to the ace. Jones for three. Hits it. Singer. Putting it in there. The three. And all of a sudden, Lee is up to double the 10 mark right at 11. Ball swinging back to Fisher. Fisher couldn't finish. Floater, no good. Over to the ace. Ball went. Dishes. Slams it down as West. Wow. Second team foul against St. Francis. Intensity there. Foul on Jordan Tolls, his first, second team foul. 29 26, 150 left here in the third. Third has been controlled by the Panthers. Let's go. Oh, Smith, Fisher, blocked inside. Fisher got the rebound back. They're able to swing it out. Shot clock is low. That's a three. A hit. Two, three there by Cam Smith. He has 10, I believe, now. So, for Fisher there in the category of scoring. West inside the layup goes. West now leading all scores at 12. He has exploded here in the third. Kick City, the ace, got it. Thanks to Jordan Toes off the deflection. Ball went for three. No good. Seconds left here in the third. The Dons. Trying to keep this one within striking distance. Smith. Inside off the glass and in. Shot clock and clock. Five second difference. West. I see the ace there. Back to Toes. Back to the ace. I see Jones. Ball went. West now got it. West again double. Jones for three. Hits it again. Oh, Rara. Getting it done tonight. He has 10 now. Seconds left. Smith. Moore pulls up at the buzzer. No good. So after three, St. Francis is up 44-31, top seed, trying to get their ticket to be in the finals on Sunday afternoon taping. We'll bring it to you Monday 
in prime time. Little quarter here about to get going. And the next time we will come at you is up next. Mount St. Joe's, the three seed against St. Maria Goretti, the two. Clement St. Francis tied for the best conference record. But St. Francis beat St. Maria Goretti twice this year. And that's why we will have Goretti and Mount St. Joe's rematch of their amazing semifinal matchup a year ago. You've seen it here as well on the Dodge Running Network. What a game that was. Byron Reed called that one. And fourth quarter about to get going. Lawyer Blakefield gets the ball first. That'll be coming up next right here on the Dodge Money Network. Right after this one. Let's stick and stay. Right here for it. Be about a half an hour behind this one. Fourth quarter begins. Lawyer. Down 13, the biggest margin they've been down. Not the game. They've been able to keep this game really close as Newcomb. Swings it back to Smith. Smith looking for more. He got him for three in the corner. Tipped and miss. Rice Jones soars for the rebound. Jones brings it up. Back to the ace. Baldwin. Nice pass inside. Good news. The bad news is Goresco is able to intercept it. Fox. Brings it up, back over. More to Newcomb. Inside the pole, look at old. Mm. 44-33, 11-point game here. Now's the time for Lawyer. Let him keep this one close. Jones again. That one didn't go for him that time. Right there, right here, Jones has 13. He's leading all scores. Fox, Grasco, Moore, Grasco, Fox inside, the hook shot goes! Lead cut to single digits now, nine point game. 44-33. Jones for three, hits it again! 16 points for the senior guard. The uh, magnificent night for the senior. And we'll pull this one out. Inside. More for three. Spend out. Ball's going to go to St. Francis. Murphy back in the game as well as Fisher. Both teams. The ace. One and Balling. Jones. Floater, no good. Foul is called against the Dons. And his lawyer's Brendan Fox, his third. 14 foul. Oh, Jamal West. Jamal West, two shots. Up the line, shooting two. First shot, in there. Got it. So both of them go. 49-35 a fail. Inside the Fisher. That's a three. Hits it for the goal. 49-35. Lawyer still keeping it close with time. Becoming the enemy. 
Swings it. Tolls on the outside. He hits. And Jordan Tolls start hitting him from the outside. Look out. Jordan Tolls. Latine the there. Inside. Offensive foul. I guess make him. foul on him. St. Francis field goal percent is pretty good right now. 46 percent. The ace. Toes again. Why not? Hits again. Two straight from the junior. And it's a 17 point lead. Timeout by the Dons. And when the Panthers start getting it going from the outside, look out. As I say, usually a wrap in the bag. And how about that one? 44% from the field from three point for St. Francis. 30% for Boyer. 17 to 16, St. Francis is. 15 assists, by the way, and the ace. Leading that category. Four blocks as well for St. Francis Ciro for La Jolla. So, working it on defense, and getting it done on offense. St. Francis controlled the pace and have opened it up here in the second half. the game action. Fox is going to inbound it here. Fox with it. Swings it over. Hefting. Drives. Lays it in. 15 point advantage. Toes. West. And a foul. 16 foul against Loya. One more, and they will put St. Francis in the one and one. 16 foul. The ace. Pull up, missed it high, and a 17 foul against Loya and. Agent Ball going to be, I believe, shooting two. First shot in there. First shot goes. Second shot here for the ace. In and out. 16 point lead for St. Francis. Right at the halfway mark of the fourth. Fox. Fisher. Fisher drives inside and he is fouled. He's shooting two. Second shot, did not go either. As they say, the roll was not kind. 56-40. Oh man. You like that. You like that one, baby.
drive by Hepting of the class is Pinson. The ace. Side. Ah, oh, I didn't get it. West shooting two again. That's the 18th foul, I believe, for one Francis. Tolles and Jones both have 16. West with 14. Leading scores to St. Francis. Cam Smith, leading scorer for Loya at 12. Hepting has 9 and Fisher has 9 for the Dons. Second shot here. Got it. Still 16 point advantage. 307 left in this one. Oh, turned it over. There's the ace. Find the back pass. Toe. No, that's for Jones, excuse me. Way downtown there for Rai Rai. That one didn't go. I need a Patriot League flag. <laughs> Inside and make them. Foul. Before a shot attempt. It's only St. Francis' 14th foul. And they will inbound. Foul from the tempo on Montague is first. Hands it back. Three ball. Tipped and miss. And Boya oh yeah, will get it back. Three ball. Perhaps they tipped and miss. West all the way. Uh, offensive foul or travel? It was a travel. And the ball back to Lloyd. 223 left in this one. St. Francis. And get that 35th win of the season. And reach the BCR finals for 12th time. Back behind the pack. Foul is called against Lloyd. I'm sure my record said, yep, that will be St. Francis. 12th trip to the finals if they win. This lead with 205 left, which you would think they would. That one spin out. Big fellow Walden in the game. Toes that line shooting another. Second. Second shot goes. 59-42. Two minutes left. Pick City. Behind the back. Layup goes to the ace. Nice ball when he has six now. Toes the leading scorer at 17. A balanced night foul is called against St. Francis. 15 foul on the Panthers. Stiles on Jordan Coles, his third. Swings it back, turnover. Ball went over to Mr. Jones. The ace. Blowing past everybody. Nice dish. And Walden, the freshman. Got it in there. 21 point lead. St. Francis rolling to their 12th. BCL. Final. And a foul against ace. 16 foul on the St. Francis. 
Substitutions in the game on both sides. This will be some of the Don's final games of the season and of their careers. A lot of seniors. And it is eight seniors on Laura. In the game for the Don, six foot six and senior forward, number 22, Eden Thomas. Reynolds back in the game. Inside to Fisher. Swings it back. Reynolds. Now he's going to fake the shoot. He did not. And six foot two and shooting guard. Reynolds will shoot this time. Tipping. Stanton with the rebound. That's a three. Tip the miss. Offensive rebound. Bad it. It's going to stay with St. Francis. 41.4 left. So the top seeded Panthers will be waiting the winner. The St. Maria Goretti. Mount St. Joe's. St. Francis beat Mount Joe's Sunday for the MIA A Conference Championship. Lost the first two meetings against them in the regular season. St. Francis swept St. Maria Goretti during the BCR regular season. Shot clock and clock, about a half a second apart. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. That's a three. That one tipped and miss. Pull up jump for Fisher. And that will do it. Your final, St. Francis, 63, La Jolla, 42. St. Francis is 12th appearance in the BCL final. Panthers record will move up to 35 and 5. Lawyers will drop to 20 and 13 as their season will come to a close. Well, we say so long to you. For the moment, we'll be back with the second 48th BCL semifinal. As you see the final totals there. St. Francis up. Winning the winner of our next matchup. St. Maria Goretti, the two seed. Mount St. Joe's the three. We'll be back with you for that one here on the Dice Lane Network. 63-42 your final. And your final totals there. We will see you shortly. St. Cruz, third seeded Gales against the St. Maria Goretti, second seeded Gales. Your This is Die Sporting Network.